Hello, I am Dr. Manoj Morekar from ICMR National Institute of Epidemiology, Chennai. Active case finding is an important strategy to detect missing people with TB in high-risk populations. In India, the National TB Elimination Program has been implementing active case finding for TB among marginalized and vulnerable populations in all districts since 2017. Based on the request from the Central TB Division, ICMR NIE is conducting a project to evaluate active case finding quality in India and this publication is based based on the first phase of the project. So what did we do in this study? We used the programmatic data to evaluate the quality of active case finding for TB at the district, state and national level for the 2021 cycle. So this slide shows the active case finding care cascade under the national TB elimination program. And when we reviewed the programmatic data, we identified three important data quality issues. The first was mapping was not done comprehensively at the district level. It was only done in specific geographic areas or risk groups groups that were targeted during specific ACF activity. The second issue was uh, total ACF detected presumptive TB was not consistently available in the NICSHA database. And the third thing was number initiated on treatment among ACF detected was not documented. And therefore, we considered these three quality indicators of ACF for evaluation. The first was at least 10% of the district population must be screened. The second was at least 4.75% of screened population must be tested and the third was at least 5% of the tested must be diagnosed. We also calculated number needed to screen. The cutoff used for NNS number needed to screen was less than or equal to 1538. So what did we find? We found that most of the districts implemented one ACF cycle in 2021. That is the districts intended to screen the high risk population uh, once a year. At the national level, 9.3% of the population got screened. 1% screened population got tested. 3.7% of those tested got uh, diagnosed and number needed to screen was 2,824. At the state and district level, none of the 36 states or 768 districts made the cutoff of all the three TB ACF quality indicators. At the national level, the number needed to screen was less than 1,538 for facility-based and clinically vulnerable high-risk groups. However, it was above 1,538 for most population-based high-risk groups. So we concluded that the quality of ACF 2021 cycle for TB was suboptimal and this cycle did not meet all the three quality indicators. Our call for action is threefold. First is to reduce the losses between screening and testing. Second is to improve the data quality. And third is to sensitize the stakeholders regarding the importance of meeting all ACF quality indicators. And this is essential if we are to achieve the intended outcomes of active case finding. For details, please go through our research public in Global Health Action. Thank you very much.